Okay, hi everybody, this is Dr. Manning, and welcome to Personal Finance Online, the second session in the summer. Um, wanted to make a video for you guys real quick, just kind of talking a little bit about the class and trying to uh, help you get started. So, what I am currently looking at right now is our class syllabus. And this is Canvas, which if you are watching this video, you have already successfully logged into Canvas. Um, so a little bit about Canvas. Um, over here on the left is kind of your navigation. Most of the time, you're going to be using this modules thing. I'll talk a little bit about more, a little bit more later about modules. Um, also, you want to pay attention to announcements. I will post uh, important reminders and updates in the announcement section. Um, and then, of course, grades will be important to you. You can go to this grade section anytime and see how you have done on any summatives you've taken and any formatives you have turned in. So let's go back over to the syllabus. So the syllabus is available to you on Canvas. Uh, in fact, I think uh, it is going to be one of the announcements. Um, and it looks like this. So a little bit about uh, contacting me. So there are really three different ways you can contact me. Email is probably the best simply because I will probably respond to it the quickest. Uh, Canvas does have an option that you can message me through it. Uh, however, it might not get as quick a response as an email would. And then, of course, we will see each other face-to-face -face, uh, sometimes. Um, here is the schedule of when I am going to be at the middle school during our class. There are three times that we are going to be taking summatives, and it is required for you to attend those summatives. You cannot take the summatives at home. You need to come to the middle school to do those. By the way, we are going to be in room 509 at the middle school, which if you are familiar with, uh, with that at all, it's the robotics classroom. Um, but if you're not sure where that's at, just ask the ladies at the front desk and they will uh, definitely help you out. Okay, so you can see our schedule. Our first summative is going to be on Friday, June 15th. Um, however, I am going to be at the middle school on Tuesday, June 12th, just kind of as a uh, opportunity for you to come and get started if you need help. Uh, I will be there from 7.30 to 9.30 that day. On Friday, June 15th, I will be there from 9 to 11.30. You can come in any time during this to take your first summative. The summative takes probably around an hour, um, so I would strongly encourage you to get there well before 11.30 uh, so that you have plenty of time to finish. Uh, in fact, some people like to get there like right at 9 o'clock, and that would be great. But you do have an open time frame uh, to come and take the summative. And then the week after that, I will be there three times. One, just for an open lab to help anybody out or for reassessments, and then two more summatives. Okay. So there are a total of five standards in this class, and you will be graded on each of these five standards. You notice that there are only three summatives, though. The first summative will cover standards one and two. The second summative will cover standards three and four. And then the third summative will cover standard five. So that's why these first couple of summatives tend to take a little bit longer, because we are technically covering two standards or taking kind of two tests at the same time. I do offer reassessments in this class. My most important policy is that you have to have all of your formatives turned in before you can reassess. So if you take summative number one on June 15th and it doesn't go very well, and you think to yourself, man, I really want to retake that. I'm going to come in on Tuesday to retake it. You need to make sure that you have all your formatives turned in before you come in on Tuesday. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you to get your formatives turned in before you take your summative. Okay, so for most of you, this is probably the very first time that you've taken an online class. And online classes are different because we don't see each other every day. So it requires a lot of extra responsibility on you to do well in this class. Uh, there's not going to be anybody standing in front of you, tapping you on the shoulder, saying, do this, do this, do this. 
Um, I am going to make things available to you uh, pretty much one thing every day. And it's going to be up to you to um, do those things. So let's talk a little bit about what a typical day looks like. So you're going to have daily work. And I actually put these into things called modules. I mentioned that a moment ago. So on Canvas, if you click over here on the left on modules, you can see that I have already posted module number one. It's not currently available to you. It doesn't unlock until June 11th. But you can see sort of what a module looks like. On this particular module, there are a total of five things that I would like for you to do. Uh, you're going to watch this video. So, hey, you're already in the middle of number one. Uh, you're going to respond to a discussion question. So you're just going to give me a quick response to the question that's related to the material we're learning that day. There is going to be another video about careers, and there's some notes that it, you can take if you want. They're an option. You do not have to, and you do not have to send them to me, but they are just for you to help organize info. Same thing with this resume video. There's some notes available for that as well. And then finally, there is an assignment at the end of module number one. The assignment is to create a resume either for yourself or for a fictional superhero villain character kind of person. And when you click on this module, it will explain in much more detail the uh, assignment. You can do these things in any order you want. However, I do place them in this order for a reason. To me, it makes sense to just simply start at the top and work your way down. Um, it's probably going to be difficult to create a resume if you haven't watched the video about resumes, right? So pretty much every single day I am going to post one of these modules. And when I do, I will uh, make an announcement through Remind. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Remind, you should do so. Uh, through Remind or through the announcements on campus. And that will be your indication to know that, hey, the next module is available so I can start working on it. Um, so one thing to remember, we are taking a semester's worth of class. So personal finance, if you were to take this in school, it's an entire semester long. We are taking a semester's worth of class and we are condensing it into two weeks. So a lot of times when you log in to Canvas and you see a new module, you're going to think, man, that is a lot of stuff to do. You know, Dr. Manning is really asking a lot of us, but you're pretty much doing an entire week's worth of stuff in one day. So just be aware of that and try not to become frustrated. I think for most people, you should set aside a couple of hours every day to do personal finance. Okay, Some days will be lighter than others, but that is a good amount of time to uh, set aside. All right, we've already talked about the summatives. You know the dates and you know the location. And it is required for you to come to the middle school. Don't forget that. Okay, you have to be in the middle school to take the summative. All right, technology. So you don't need a lot of technology. Uh, you need some sort of internet connected device. Computer probably works the best. Laptop's fine. You can do this on a tablet. You can even do this on a cell phone. You're a little more limited on tablets and cell phones, but I have seen people do it before and it works. Uh, we use Google Docs for everything, so you can use your school Gmail account to access Google Docs. And if for any reason you're having technology issues, like your laptop stops working or the internet's not working or whatever, please contact me through one of the ways that I discussed right here and let me know. We can probably work it out that you can come to the middle school and do your stuff. Okay, so we can provide that stuff for you if you need it. All right. How to be successful. So, number one, be responsible, set, a time, set aside time to do this stuff. It's going to be difficult. It's going to test your willpower because you don't actually have to attend class. It's going to be up to you to set aside time to work on it. But do that. If you do, if you do and you watch the videos and you take the notes and you do all the formative activities, you will do great in this class. Please ask questions. If you, if you are struggling with anything or you don't understand something, please ask questions. Like I said, you can email me. That's probably the best. And I just mentioned this, but try to be disciplined. You know, this is going to be a challenge since it's the first time taking an online class. Some people are going to do very, very well, and some people might struggle. 
hopefully you are going to be one of those people that uh, enjoys the online class and is responsible enough to set aside time to work on it. All right, everyone. So I will see all of you on Friday, June 15th for our first summative. And I might see some of you on Tuesday, June 12th to help you get started. See you later.